of 10 Americans don't know what stocks their 401k is invested in. 7 out of 10 Americans don't even know that they're paying fees in their 401k. So it's safe to say most people just don't know what's going on with their money. For all we know, this guy could be managing your money. But it doesn't have to be that way. So what does football have to do with money? Well, let me tell you. You don't have to take huge hits on a gridiron and you don't have to be a famous money manager to make it happen. All you have to do is invest in the stock market in this very specific way. People following this method have uh, invested and grown their investments to buy their dream cars, new houses, and reclaim their financial freedom. You don't need a degree, you don't need millions of dollars. All you need to know is how to play football. Yes, this football. See, in football, there's a game, uh, there's a portion of the game where you have to kick a field goal to score points. This act relies heavily on the capability of a single player to kick a ball through a goal. If the kicker successfully kicks it, it gets three points. If he misses it, the other team gets the ball. Now, as simple as it is, this is no easy feat, as there are several factors at play that would determine his success. So, let's explore them. For starters, is the kicker even good? Chances are you don't want to rely on the kicker that just started yesterday. You want a kicker that's strong and reliable. Next, how far is the kicker away from the goalpost? The further the distance, the less likely it is that the kicker will make it. Football players are strong, but no one is kicking field goals from the other side of the field. Now, we have other things such as conditions, such as weather and pressure of the kick that can affect a player. All these conditions can throw the ball, of course, and if it's a really high pressure event, uh, the ball will go sideways and miss. Also, we have the width of the goalposts. Uh, now, traditionally, the width of the goalposts doesn't change, but if it's narrower, of course, it'll be a harder kick. So, what if you had the opportunity to bet on the kicker to make it? Now, what if you, would you make that chance? What if you were getting paid to make this chance? Now, if you still win back then, what if you can control every single condition of the kick, all the conditions that we just listed before? Would you still make that bet? Well, let me tell you about how to invest in the stock market. Because if you know how to do that, then you know how to invest with stock options. Now, in investing in the stock market, let's say we buy a share of stock at $20 a share. If it goes up, we're making money. But if it goes down, we're losing money. Now, with stock options, they're a lot different. You're trading certificates instead of actual shares on the stock. Now, what that allows us to do is we make money if the stock goes up, if it goes down, and even if it stays in a range, we're making money. So let me tell you how a typical stock option will work. Let's say we have a share of stock trading at $20. We therefore be risking $70 to make $30. All if it stayed in the range between $10 and $30 within the next month. These parameters would give us a pro probability of profit at 75%. Now we can, we can also adjust these. Say we wanted to uh, invest with a 95% probability of success. Well, we'd be risking more, such as $97 just to make $3, because the rules of risk and reward apply throughout the stock market. Now, if we wanted to keep the same amount of risk level, we could simply uh, have more risk at $200 with a higher profit at $100 by keeping the same aforementioned 75% profitability of success. So how does this all relate back to football? Well, we mentioned we got the conditions affecting the kick where the kicker the distance, conditions, and the width of the goalposts. Well, your kicker, that's going to be your stock. You wouldn't want an unreliable kicker, uh, so you wouldn't want. It, so at the same token, you wouldn't invest in an unreliable stock. Now, not, next we say we have time. Time is going to be representative of our distance between the field goal kicker and the goalposts. The closer the kicker is to the goalposts the higher probability is that he will make it. The further he is away from the goal post, obviously the less likely it is that the field goal kicker will make that field goal. 
Now we also said we have conditions. So uh, we said rain and, and snow can affect the kid. Now those are gonna be representative of volatility. Volatility in the stock market uh, happens when the stock moves up and down and it makes it harder to understand uh, how the kit, it makes it harder to predict where the stock will be. And also we said the width of the goalposts. If the range is between $10 and $30, then uh, we have a wider goalpost uh, to kick through. On the contrary, if it's slimmer, then we know that uh, there's less uh, chances that that uh, event will happen. So this is how professional money managers make billions of dollars, and you can too. Uh, trading in this way is essentially like taking a perspective of a casino. When you go to the casino, you know the odds are against you. Uh, and alternatively, when you invest in stock options, the odds are in your favor. It's one of the only mediums where you can put the probabilities in your favor. So you can literally change your life around during your lunch break. All that's required is 15 minutes of your time to place a few trades here and there, and you'll be on your way to financial freedom. So Investopedia is the one way uh, beginners can learn more about the stock market. There's a treasure trove of information on this site. And moreover, tastytrade.com is a huge resource for learning about the advanced and beginner uh, levels of option trading. So in short, you'll watch many games of football the life of the life of your uh, of your life. <laughs> uh, but investing is a game worth playing. You can change your financial freedom. So quarterback your way to success and become financially free. Thank you.